Hey there, Adrian Rosebrock here from PyMageSearch.com, and today we're going to be discussing a series of tutorials on face detection. We're going to start with OpenCV's Har Cascade face detector, which is what most people think of when applying face detection with Har Cascades, even though that algorithm itself is nearly 20 years old. There have been far better improvements to face detection and object detection than hard cascades. But nonetheless, it's a traditional method. It's an important method for you to understand. And better yet, it's really good on resource constrained devices. And because if you think about it, what, what has evolved over the past 20 years? What has been a constant improvement? If you ignore it, kind of the scientific side, you can see hardware improvement has just skyrocketed. So once or algorithms that were originally designed to run on desktop and laptop PCs 15, maybe even 10 years ago, now run super, super fast on modern day laptops and PCs. But better yet, those techniques can be just essentially translated over to embedded devices like the Raspberry Pi, the Google Coral, Movidius NCS. These devices can run traditional computer vision and image processing algorithms very, very quickly. So while these algorithms, these hard cascades are, you know, no longer the state of the art, there are far better algorithms. They can still be directly applied to your resource constrained environments. And that alone makes them an interesting set of algorithms to discuss. We'll then dive into OpenCV's deep learning face uh, based face detector, which is far more accurate and it can run just as fast or nearly as fast as hard cascades in real time. And then we'll look at the DLib library and discuss the hog linear SVM uh, detector in, in DLib as well as DLib's uh, CNN face detector, which is also quite accurate. But to start, let's dig into hard cascades for face detection. You can see I have our directory structure pulled up here. We're gonna review two Python scripts. This first one is gonna perform face detection in static images. And this one over here, we're gonna learn how to perform face detection in real-time video streams. This file, this XML file, this is our pre-trained Har Cascade provided by the OpenCV developers. Also, I often get questions from readers asking like, how do I modify this file? Because they think, oh, this is a, a face detector. Maybe I could just open up this file and you know, maybe edit a few values here and there, and it'll be able to detect my nose or my mouth or my leg or my arm or my hand. That's not how these files work. And if you open them up, you'll see that it's just a serialized file. It's just, it's as a bunch of values in here, and these values are not meant to be human readable. They're meant to be read by the OpenCV library. So when you train one of these hard cascades, it results in this output XML file. So this file gets saved to disk and OpenCV knows how to read it from disk, interpret those values, and then construct a model that can detect whatever object it was trained to detect. So you can't simply just open up this file in a plain text editor, edit a few values, and expect it to detect a new object. That's not how these models work. So I just wanted to clarify that point up front because it is a question that I do get asked often. So let's just set the, set the understanding there that simply editing the file, not going to work to detect new objects. You have to go through that training process. And we'll discuss training processes in, in detail inside this object detection series. There is so much we can discuss in terms of training custom models, but for now we're gonna work with pre-trained detectors. You're gonna learn how far pre-trained detectors can get you because the benefit of using them is you don't have to go through the arduous process of gathering data, of labeling data, of training the model, of testing the model. You can build on the shoulders of others. You can stand on their shoulders, use these pre-trained models, and in some cases, finish building your computer vision and image processing pipeline in a fraction of the time because you didn't have to train the models themselves. And that's the beauty of the OpenCV library of open source, that we can use these tools, we can combine these tools together and create really amazing solutions.